Hey everyone, it's Chris, the PDX Picker. I'm gonna do a quicker video today. We've got uh, nine total items going out that sold on eBay. Total of $150. Uh, not a huge sales day, but some good items, so stick around and I'll show you here what's sold. Wanna buy that Farrah Fawcett poster? There's dispensers and a toaster. Don't know why that kind of stuff you throw away. I'll sell on eBay. All right, so uh, we'll start with the first item. I picked this up at a Goodwill outlet near me eh, a couple weeks ago. Took a little bit of time to sell, maybe two, three weeks. Um, it was somewhat of a surprise. I thought it'd sell quicker, but still a fast turnaround for sure. It is a pair of Carhartt bib overalls for a toddler. They're a size uh, 3T. Uh, probably spent 80 cents or so on these, maybe a dollar, and uh, really good condition. So with kids' clothes, as I'm sure you all know, you definitely want to look for condition issues, stains, rips, tears that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, sold those for $15.95 plus shipping. So that was a nice little pickup for sure. Uh, another sell, sale from the Goodwill outlet. I'll grab these here. They are um, these cars, Disney Pixar cars that I got at the Goodwill outlet right around the same time as those bib overalls. So they're the color changer ones. One of the ways you can tell that right away is they're plastic instead of die cast. Went ahead and tested those under the water to make sure they were still changing colors, and they were. So uh, I hardly weighed anything with them being out, made out of plastic, and I sold uh, four of those for $15 plus shipping. Probably spent around a dollar on those as well. We're going to stick in my little uh, section here, my little smalls item uh, storage area. We sold, I sold a, a pocket knife. I was excited when I first saw it because it is a K-Bar brand. I got this in my uh, storage unit auction from a few months ago. It's a K-Bar brand, which K-Bar is a really good knife brand. And, uh, but it was weird looking. Tr didn't know what that was at first. Turns out this is actually part of a, like a camping set. So there would be the, the pocket knife and then there's a spot here on each side to add like a knife and a fork uh, to that, which this didn't come with, but still sold that for $12 free shipping. So not a, not a big seller. Not a big money maker, I should say, but um, again, K-Bar, as you probably know, or maybe don't know, is definitely a, a great brand to be on the lookout for. So, this next item, cup two items sold to the same person. I picked up at this really interesting garage sale over the uh, summer last year. It was one of those Almost lost it. That was crazy. It's one of those uh, scenarios that I run into a lot around here where I didn't have any cell service in that area. So I was flying blind. Um, I've seen these around and I always have liked them. They're the Pepsi, 1970s Pepsi collector series glasses. Come in a lot of different varieties, different characters and stuff. These are the Looney Tunes variety that I got here. We got Sylvester and Elmer Fudd. Good condition. I uh, picked these up for $5 each. Not a good price to, to pay for these. If I'd known what they'd sell for, uh, I would have not bought them. But um, combined, they sold for $21 uh, plus shipping. So... If you do find those, uh, try and get them for one or two dollars a piece. Uh, it's just not, uh, they, don't, they don't really, well, I mean, there's certain characters that sell better than others. Those ones are not super uh, sought after. So that's definitely something to, to factor in as well. But um, definitely try and look those up before you buy them, unlike what I did. 
All right, this next sail is kind of a cool one. It is this uh, thermometer here. That's a Barney Fife um, from the Andy Griffith Show, from like the 1950s show. It's a thermometer that came out, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. Not a lot of those for sale. One had sold uh, in the last year or so for $65, so that's what I had mine listed at. But then it had been listed for over six months, so it was on my 35% off sale. Ended up selling for $45.50 plus shipping. So if you do happen to come across one of those, definitely a good item to pick up if you can get it uh, relatively cheap. So I think I, and I think I bought that for around $8. I bought two pieces of <laughs> Don Knotts Barney Fife uh, memorabilia, one being this thermometer. The other one, which was much cooler, is a, a picture with a sign, an autograph uh, on there of him and uh, i haven't listed that one yet but um that one was a cool one as well for sure so all right this next item that sold i picked up a lot of warhammer uh figures the warhammer 40k figures and this one sold for $16.10 plus shipping. It's Ulrich the Slayer from the Space Wolves uh, set. If you're into Warhammer 40k, go ahead, pick these up. If you're not, it does take a bit of time to research them. I have sold, I bought a uh, big bunch of them for $5. I sold another one for 60 bucks and this one for 16. So I'm definitely well into the profit. I haven't even listed any of the other ones yet because it takes so long to try and Google lens it and then track down exactly what figure it is. There's a lot of variations to it. So uh, if you happen to already know about the Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, I think it's a good one to pick up, but otherwise it is a little bit of a bear. So, okay, next item to sell. We are just staying right around here in my smalls. So must be the day of the smalls. Sold this uh, Rolex souvenir spoon. Uh, picked this up in a lot of a bunch of other spoons along with my uh, Oneida Brahms set. So probably paid about 50 cents for that. Uh, sold it for $10.90 free shipping. So a little bit of money, not a huge one. And guess what? Another Smalls item. Um, this is another one of my mini billiard balls this is the number four ball that sold ten dollars and ninety cents free shipping so making about five dollars per ball on that which is not bad and then lastly a little tiny sale something that uh, i'm trying to clear out are my dvds these are a bunch of sealed dvds that i bought for a quarter a piece Still, even at that price, it wasn't worth it. So this is Taken 2, sealed, sold for $5.38, free shipping. Um, so I'll basically break even, even only paying a quarter for it. So, all right, that's it for today. Short video, um, some good pickups out there for sure. I think, at least I think it was some good pickups, some not so good pickups. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.